Fucked up. You all fucked up? Hey, check that shit out. Alright, so guys, we're trying to finish up Tony's car here. We've got, BB just got this badass catch can on his car from T1 Race Development. Badass little piece. Shout out to Stuart. Stuart! Thank you, Stuart. But the real reason we're here is because of this. We're having fun tonight. Tony's learning how to put cams and how to do springs. He's doing a great job. Very, very, very good job, Tony. Muy guapo. Muy guapo. Um, right now, we're checking for clearances. I'm going to grab this from Tony here real quick. So, guys, this is what's going on. So, we're checking clearances between the cam and the actual bucket for the springs. Um, so, right now, we want to make sure there's plus or minus 2 thou um, from 10 thou. So, ideally, it would be 0 0.010. That would be, like, perfect. Uh, but you can be 2 thou less. So you could be 0 0.008 or you could be up 0 0.0012. Anything above or below that, no good. It, it's no good for us. Um, we're getting shimless buckets, so this doesn't matter, but we need exact. If you can see here, these bad ones were way off. Like this one's .002. That's that's really messed up. That's no good. Hey, don't leave the bear in the freezer too long. Oh shit. <laughs> and uh, hold on, FYI, guys, don't leave your beer in the fridge too long because that is a sludge. Can you drink it? Oh my god, look at it. Oi, papi, oi. Is it working? At least it's cold. It's, uh, it is cold. Look at him. Wait, he's used to that face right there. Used to, uh, guys. Never mind. Anyways, uh, so back to what we were doing. So yeah, guys, so that's where we're at. I'll, so, show them, I'll show them the next set I have to do. So let's go ahead and go. We got number five and six now, which would be cylinder number three. So, so we're gonna come over here. So you see, on. we just checked the lash on these two lobes. So now we have to check these. And what we want is the bucket is almost at like a 30 degree angle, I'd say. Correct. We basically wanna get this lobe rolled around in line with that bucket. So let's go ahead and show them, go ahead. So first off, we made sure all, none of the pistons are top dead center, so we're not obviously gonna have any interference. Correct. With the valve train. Look how fast he's picking up that. He's a fucking baller. I'm loving this. He's picking up so quick. That, see that, guys? I just want to show you from the side. See, it's not straight up and down. It's about a 30 degree to 35 degree angle. And now he's going to take the shim here. You can see these. Hold on. Go ahead. So you see these small numbers here? So obviously 10,000 is what we're looking for. So we'll just start with that. And right here, it just clears. So that's what we want. I said we'd rather have tight than loose, if you know what we're saying. Yeah, we'd rather have a little tight than a little loose. And look Think at this of one. that. This one's going really easy. So let's start with this one. Let's write this down. See, that's the girl. The girl on the left is the one you want to take home. The girl on the right is not the one you want to take home. You want to take home a little tight. You don't want to take home the girl that's a little loose. Remember that. So what, I'm going to try this 11th out just to be sure. No, 11 thou is not working, so it's 10 thou for sure on that. Which is great. Ideally, 10 thou is perfect for this setup. These are HKS 272 cams. Uh, in factory spec, requires plus or minus 2 thou again. Um, and 10 thou is, a, is ideal. So go ahead and get the next well, one. I'm actually going to jump to a 12 thou because I think we're going to be going up quite a bit. So 12 thou doesn't nah, make That's it. still going pretty nicely. Yeah. 13 thou, I think, is where we're at. Maybe I could be wrong. 13. Let's try the 14, that actually went a little easy. Well, that's nice and snug. Now, yeah, okay, so 14. 15 is probably not going to go. 15 shouldn't, but. Nope. Okay, so it's 14 thou, guys. So there you go. So we had one that was spot on, one's not. So now we're off by 2,000. So when we order shimless buckets, we need to add that into the factor and then go across the whole board and check them all. So again, my, hair, my terrible handwriting. If you guys look at this here, uh, again, the intake side. So right there, five and six of cylinder number three, 10 and 14 thou. The 10 thou is good, but the 14 thou is two thousandths over and it's no good. So those were off and this is why you have to check this stuff. If you would throw these in, this is how you throw a bucket or you mess up your springs and retainers. So here we find a wild Tony in his natural habitat. Tony, what are you doing? I am rigging up stanchions for the rear diffuser to quick disconnect from. That was a mouthful, but basically they're called quick latches. And uh, I don't know if you can go over the front. Yeah, you can see that, yeah. So this is the stud, and this spherical ball basically pops into the latch. And it actually has a little bit of play on the rotation. But instead of having like a bolt that will hold this on, there's six bolts which are a pain in the ass to get to, essentially this will be like vertical. Actually, Ryan can use an example right here. Right here. That's finished product. Basically, the diffuser just presses up on it. As soon as they get over those balls, they just go clip, and then they're locked on until you press the button. Pretty simple. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Good idea. 
All right, guys, so I'm back over here working on Tony's car right now, and uh, I'm actually going over the specs to do the shimless buckets right now. Uh, you can see I've already done the intake side. I've got my micrometer out of here. Uh, this is actually my dad's that he gave to me to use when I was in the machining field. Uh, I was working for a company called Sandvik, which was a Swedish company that sold carbide inserts. We did a little bit of everything, um, and I had this because I used it out in the field a lot. But now it's been sitting for years and years. The battery was dead. I had to go get a battery, but it's finally coming in clutch once again because I'm going to show you guys how you measure for your buckets when you want to go for shimless buckets. Before I go any further though, I want to thank Jose Valle. He uh, showed me how to do this, so I appreciate that. I wasn't really sure how to go about it. I was a little confused, uh, but the way you go about it is this. First off, you want to make sure, if you saw my last video, you want to shim there. Uh, you want to check clearances with the cams and buckets in that are already there. So if you haven't done that yet, go to my previous video just before this one. Watch that first, and that'll show you what to do. Um, but for if you, for the people that have watched it, I'm going to go to the, in, or, sorry, I'm gonna go to the exhaust side here. I'm going to pull this bucket out here first. One thing you guys want to do is clean off as much oil and debris as you can because you want to get as accurate of a reading as possible. Um, is this going to throw it off much? No. Uh, but does it help? Yes. So what you want to do is make sure you clean off your bucket first and foremost. And then if you've got a micrometer, first thing you want to do is get it out, get the battery in, and you want to zero it out. You want to clamp it down, move this up, move it down, move it up, move it down, and make sure it stays zeroed out. I've already done this, but again, depending on your micrometer, you want to make sure you have it zeroed out. So next thing we're going to do is open this up, and we're going to slide this in, and I'm going to show you where you need to have this clamped down at. Again, you want to make sure the shim that's inside of the bucket stays there. You don't want to remove that. You want to keep the bucket and shim together, and if you see here, you can see that little metal point in the center. That's where you want to measure your micrometer from the bottom to hit. So it can be anywhere on the top of this surface, but it must hit that center little circle there. That is your bottom of the bucket. Okay, so you need to make sure you hit the top of this and the center of that. I'm going to put it together here and show you again just so you have an exact idea of how this should be put together. All right, guys, here's my micrometer set up right now. You can see I've got the top of the bucket centered out there. Now it's going to be hard to show you the inside of this here, so give me a second. All right, guys, if you can just, just see there, I'll hopefully have an error when I edit this. You can see there, I just have the bottom of the micrometer right dead center, right where I was showing that circle was before. That's where you want to make sure the bottom of your micrometer goes to. And this one comes to 535 thou. Um, this is, you know, that's just what the budget bucket measures to. You guys can see over here when I did my intake side here, everyone was different. Everyone was slightly off. Um, but that's what this one is. That's the number one I'm doing here right now. Uh, so I'm going to start with the number one there and then work my way down. But I just want to show you guys that, how to do it. And then uh, I'm going to show you the numbers that I had from doing the clearances. And then you figure out the math of how to get your total number and what you need to do so you can get, get and order your shimless buckets. I apologize if I'm talking a little too fast. But again, I'm going to say um, I want to show you the math that you have to do to figure out what you need to, to calculate to figure out what size you would actually need for your shimless buckets. All right, back we're on Tony's car again. So we're over here right now. Uh, I'm doing the specs. So over here is our clearances uh, for what we got off the actual cam to the top of the bucket. Um, and this is the actual thickness of the bucket itself, So, which I showed you there earlier. So now what we need to do is figure out the math for it, right? So we get our intake. We'll start here at intake. In intake number one, we have 7,000. So what we need to do here is seeing it's at 0 .007. We're at 5.391. So what you need to do is we actually need to... Um, get up to 10,000 ideal, right? So they get this clearance to be a 10,000. Uh, it's too tight right now. So what we need to do is actually subtract from this. So instead of this being 5.391, this should be fi actually 5.388. Again, uh, we wanna get the 10,000 here. So if you're below, you need to actually subtract material here because this is too tight. Because the lower the number here, the actual tighter the clearance is from the cam to the actual bucket top itself. So pretty simple there. So I'm gonna show you down here real quick, obviously what I've got. So again, that would be for the intake. It would be, let me double check it be 5.388 so and yes my handwriting is horrible I do apologize ahead of time so there's that one now what's our next one here we have 5.343 and we've got 0 0.004 so wow wow that one was really so we need to add eight or sorry six uh, remove six thou from that one so it's 5.343 over here uh, so that puts us at point uh, 5.347 um, so we'll come back down here again and change this to 5.347. And again, guys, you'll just repeat that um, depending uh, what the difference is. Do we have any that are above? So like this one here, since it's 10,000, 10,000, neither of those need to be changed. Whatever the bucket size is over here, so this 240 and 277, those won't change. Now the next one is 7,000. Do we have any that are above? Right here, number nine here, the bucket was at eight, wow, 18 or is that 10? I'm gonna have to check with Tony on his handwriting. He wrote that down. So I'm gonna check with his handwriting, make sure it's 10,000, not 8,000. That's 10, that's good. That's 11,000 there. So we got one that's 11,000. 
that's technically within clearance, but if we're gonna go ahead and get you on this bucket, let's move it up one thou. Uh, so this one here is actually 5.265, so it actually would go up one, um, and we put it to 5267. So pretty simple, guys, just repeat that process. Just wanted to show you guys how to do that real quick. Um, just repeat that, and then you can order your shimless buckets. All right, guys, yes, my shirt is off because it is hot out here, uh, but I hope that helped. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I try to do that as quickly as possible, but that's pretty the pretty basic uh, how it works. It's just time consuming, very, very, very time, time consuming. Take your time, please be patient. Um, you're gonna get frustrated. I also highly recommend checking clearances with the cams in and stuff at least twice, if not three times, uh, because when you do something like this, you want it as, as exact as possible. It's just worth the just doing it over and over again to be happy with it. Because once you do it, you never have to touch it again. You never have to mess with it again. It's kind of nice. So again, guys, if you have questions or concerns, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, you can see here behind me is pretty nice. I've got my Supra, I've got the wife Supra, and I've got Tony's Supra. So it's a Supra garage. The MR2 is gone. Uh, it finally shipped off to Texas, which is pretty awesome. I'm glad to have the space. I'm gonna miss the car. It was fun, it was nice, but I'm glad to see it gone. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in today. You know what to do, Facebook, Instagram, check it all out. Also check out the merch, you know what to do, and I'll talk to you later. Peace!